Hello guys and welcome back to Ask MBA YouTube channel. Now let's understand how to solve this kind of question. You probably have seen these questions from the topic of algebra, which is far more important for your CAD exam 2024. Now the question is, how many factors of 2 power 5 into 3 power 6 into 5 square are perfect squares out of 18, 24, 36 and 8? I hope you are getting what the question has to say. They are asking how many factors of this number factors will be formed after multiplying any numbers are perfect square so isme se aise kitne numbers hai jo perfect square honge iske factors right so in case you need to find of any number which is to be factor of this number to be perfect square it must be in the form of 2 power a into 3 power b into 5 power c then only it will be a possible factor of this number if you want to make this number a perfect square then must the value of a must be in even form right then only it will be a perfect square now how many possible values for a that can take out of this 5 a is equal to 5 now up to 5 how many numbers we have as even number that is a can take 0 2 or 4 right because you have to take less than 5 highest value for a is 5 only in case of b we have b equal to 6 till 6 or among 6 it can take possible even values is 0 2 4 and of course 6 is also can take the last one is c the final value for c is 2 where it can take 0 and 2 as even number for a b c values right so now these are the possible even numbers which can take for a b c after which you will be getting a perfect square again i am repeating this uh, statement to make this factor perfect square the values of a b c must be an even number now the final statement that we have to make is we have total number of uh, factors for a is 3 and b is 4 1 2 3 and 4 and final values for c is 2 now these is the simple product which you will get 4 into 2 is 8 8 3 is 24 now this was a proper and important question for your CAT 2024 not only for CAT but also for SNAP and NMAT. Now I want you guys to prepare and understand these kind of questions are only solved if you are good at algebra. You need to understand proper factors, how the factors are work, how the remainder theorem is work. Now this is the important concept which you have to understand from the topic of algebra. I will be coming again with some similar kind of questions from the topic algebra or any other topic if you want you can directly mention in the comment box.